Hello all my chickadees! Welcome back! I'm your lovely bird boy Sparrow and today we're going to be playing Rotten Dinner. Now this may qualify as a Yandere game, we'll just have to jump in and see, but I know it's going to have blood in it. I mean look at this! <laughs> you can see blood right away! But um, I like this. Listen, listen, listen. It sounds like knife sharpening! Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to give us a warning, so I'm going to go ahead and, before we proceed, and read off the warning from the website page, because I don't want anybody to, you know, get affected by anything. Um, warning. This game contains gory, surrealistic scenes, cannibalisms, murders, stalking, and unpleasant sounds. If you are sensitive to such content, then please refrain from playing. There is your warning my chickadees. Now let's dive in. <sighs> oh wow. You got a lot of posters on your wall. Please stop it. I know perfectly well that it's time to get up. Don't... I didn't even go to bed. Ugh, I don't feel very well. Maybe I should stay at home. Much better. I couldn't sleep at all last again last night. I was like someone was scratching at my window. From fear, everything flew out of my head. Who are you today? Oh, cool. We are Sparrow. Yeah. I remember now. You ruined my life, Sparrow. Fuck you. <laughs> it's Tuesday, right? Ever since school, I remember this day is somehow drearily dull. <laughs> Another reason to stay home. But if I skip class again, my head will be torn off. You rubbed your eyes and got out of bed, muttering unhappily because of the cold floor on which you stood barefoot. This week promises to be boring, even more ordinary than usual. You start thinking about everything that could have happened today and accidentally got lost in these thoughts. Finally, you managed to return to reality, and you remembered that you used to start the morning with a selection of colorful accessories that seemed cool to you. But at university, you stopped wearing them, thinking it was too childish. Heh. <laughs> Maybe I should remember the old days. Heck yeah! It was quite fun. I haven't felt, uh, had much left since then, but still, maybe I should wear this pendant today? Oh, I used to love these weird knickknacks. So, oh... Put on your weird necklace! Put on your weird necklace. Be yourself, bud. Awesome. Now I'm definitely a freak. When I wear this thing, I'm incredibly lucky in stupid situations. Something like an amulet of failure. The most of it. I'm not some kind of Sicarian, honestly. Why did I pour my blood here at all? What? With what? Did you pour your blood somewhere? I am confused. <laughs> Um, I hope we didn't actually pour our blood somewhere. A cup of bitter coffee has already cooled down when you fully packed up and came to drink it. This cheap-ass coffee is really invigorating, but how disgusting it is. When I get a job, I'll buy myself a can of normal coffee. No, two cans. I have to spoil myself. Heck yeah. The road to university in the morning wasn't so terrible. But in the evening, you had to look around and keep a knife in your pocket. This district is really shitty. Oh yeah, we, we've got a good start, aren't we? <laughs> I can see where murders play into this already. And now, finally, you've come to your institute. The place where you became convinced that some people are rare scum. Back in high school, you realized that life isn't sugar. And it's not a teen show at all. That's why there's no group of cool kids or school queens surrounded by her personal maids. Everyone here is the same. Tired guys who want to get a college education. Well, it's probably not like that everywhere. You're just lucky. Don't start the morning so damn pessimistic. Still, some are different though. But they can't really be envied, poor souls. Become pant punching bags from day one. Why? Because so. Because a uh, uh, strong can do it to them. 
Don't ask unnecessary questions and don't stand out. That's what life has taught you so far. Huh? What happened? You were trying to squeeze through the crowd. Is someone being beaten again? This is such a frequent occurrence that everyone had to forget about it and pass by, but they kept looking. Every time. You know, uh, you know how much the students of the u university love the sight and smell of blood. Okay, they're all messed up, right? <laughs> they just love watching people getting beat up. Oh my gosh. Poor guy. You come closer to see what's happening and swear you have not joined this indifferent herd. No, you will definitely help. But you'll see first. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. We've joined the herd, haven't we? Oh, I should have known. Hi, Nick. Really? You didn't greet him seriously. Most likely not heard you at all. Oh, look at the poor guy. Nick is the main victim of the sinister place. His leg was broken on the first day. What? In the sec in the second, the contents of a trash can were poured on his head. What did you do? What did you do to invoke the wrath of all these people? We should definitely help Nick. Come on. And then you don't didn't remember much else. Just think of any stereotypical bullying in high school and multiply that by two. That's what this guy experienced. Why are they bullying him? No one knows, and no one dares try to find out. Everyone ignore, ignores and avoids him, fearing to fall under the hot hand of the main scumbags of the university. <sighs> we better help him. We better freaking help him. And you're one of those people. Ah! Weak, pathetic, insignificant, but you can't even help yourself, let alone him. Or maybe, am I going to do something I'll regret all my life? Yeah, this should be interesting. Heck yeah. Heck freaking yeah. Yes. Yes. We are helping him. I'm tired of this. Someone has to sacrifice their ass and stand up for this poor thing. Hey, you. Stop it. In the end, leave him alone. This guy is already bleeding. For the second day in a row, and today is only Tuesday. If you want to make fun of someone, then choose not the weakest of all. Everyone looked at you in horror. Someone from behind started laughing and whispering something like, Damn, dude, did you hear that? Sparrow is going to leave here in an ambulance right now. Are you serious? I would laugh, but this act is so stupid it's not even funny. Get him! Oh, he's crying. Is he crying too? Oh, poor guy. Leave while you can, freak. Can't you see we're having fun? Or do you want to join in? Yeah, but I don't think you're going to be as resilient as that jerk. They're not kidding, and you know it. But some strange sh shiver went through your body. Seems like it was your mask. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh, we're masticate. Oh my gosh, I can't say it today. Read the screen, guys. Read the screen. Okay, I can't talk today. Apparently, tendencies. Oh God, you grabbed the bloody guy by the arm and pulled him out of the bully's midst. Despite his wounds, he ran fast. Yes, snack Nick, snatch Nick, and run. You ran like two rabbits being chased by hunters. Fear was running through your fingertips. There was no time to think about your stupidest act. Now you had to get out of here as fast as possible. The corridors and the stairs seem endlessly long, as if there's no way out of this terrible place. I'll catch up with you and I'll rip your heads off. You finally managed to quickly turn the corner and disappear from the sight of the thugs. You didn't even look around the room you were in, because you fell to the floor and tried to catch your breath after all that running. Are we in a library or an office? The fact that you're still alive is a miracle. Now you have time to think about your idiotic, idiotic act. For what? Why did I save him? It's not like we're friends. I just know his name because in my social cir circle, I often like to mention that shit that happens to the guy. Dude, we saved him because that was the right thing to do. Fuck up. I didn't even know what he looked like. I just guessed. Hey, thank you. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, goodness. He's covered in blood. 
The guy squatted down in front of you. His fangs completely covered his eyes. You could only see the neat smile. Blood smeared all over his face, also staining the white shirt. Oh, so that's what you look like. You saved me without even knowing who I am? This situation has become a thousand times nicer. Nick laughed very sweetly. His cheeks turned a pink sweet, a little pink. Yes, it really was, really was really nice of me. Huh. You, you didn't do anything to them. Why, why would they do that to you? It annoys me just to think about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too pathetic. Anyway, let them do what they want. What? They'd literally beat you to the pulp. Do you want to die or something? I would have chosen a quicker and less painful way. Nick laughed quietly again. I have to check on something. Don't worry. As soon as I'm done, I'll stop. It'll stop. What do you want to know? The limits of the human body or how quickly they'll kill you? Oh, whoa, whoa. Dude. Oh, gosh. It goes quick on purpose. Let's see if I can read it. I'm just... I'm just amused by the com compassion you have about going to kill and eat what? Eat you. Okay, I, I read eat you. I read eat you. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, it says, I. it was something like, I am amused by the compassion you're showing me when I'm literally going to kill and eat you. What? You're going to kill and eat us? Nick. 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 No. <laughs> we just saved you. We should be marked off that list, okay? What? Don't worry. It'll be fine. I promise. I'm worrying. That's exact. That's exactly what I said. Okay, there's nothing I can do to interfere with your um experiments, and none of it's my business, to be honest. His whole image seems so, seemed to look so defenseless that you can't help but feel pity for the guy, even though he obviously doesn't need it. To be honest, I don't feel any pain, but the humiliation hurts me a little. Hmm. Are you? Anagalistic? Yeah, I don't feel anything. Almost. But honestly, that disease only took away my sensitivity. But I can still smell things. Like the beautiful smell. Um, of flowers? Blood. Okay. Okay, this is a lot to unpack. Give me a second here. Um... <sighs> Okay, so Nick has one of those rare diseases that he doesn't feel pain. Which is true. It's a true thing that, you know, it's an actual disease out there. And a condition that people have that they cannot feel pain. Like their hand can just sit in a bucket of ice water and they don't notice it. So it's very bad. Because they can't tell when they're actually hurt. And they need to take care of their bodies. So, um... That's crazy. Can you imagine not being able to feel anything? Yeah, that that can cause some serial killers right there. And I did hear you say you're going to eat us. And now he says he likes the sweet smell of blood. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have saved him. <laughs> um, okay. This smell is kind of cool. Probably... You tried to pick up some more words, but this conversation seemed to have reached a dead end. What? Oh, God. What was that? Your blood, I want to eat your... I am going to read this. I can't pause it, but... Your blood, you're stupid. I want... I want to eat you. I want to taste. I want to taste every bite and chew it. Chew it with your sweet blood. Oh, my God. Dude! Dude! Yeah, you're a little... Oh my gosh, he's a little messed up. Just just a little. What was that? He's mumbling something in inintelligible and quiet again. 
and quiet again. I can't make out a single word. Don't worry, I have a back button. Yeah, yeah, y you know, I'm, I'm gonna go. I still have to save my ass from those guys who obviously hate me now. It wouldn't have happened if I hadn't saved you. Oh no, it's not that I regret doing it. You just don't, I just don't understand why I did it. God, I better shut up. Oh, I'm sorry for setting you up. And don't worry. I just thank, thank you for saving me. You know, you're so c c cute and charming, Sparrow. No one has ever said such warm, warm words to me. You're flattering me. <laughs> it was definitely not your... You're flattering me. It was definitely not your fault, so don't apologize. Wait, you know me? We never crossed paths before. Literally never because I'm studying in a different building. Huh? I said it's too much again. Oh, look at his face. Look at his face like his mouth disappeared and everything. I didn't notice that. What the? What the fuck is wrong with your face? <laughs> I'm glad we actually picked up on that. Nick? Where is it? I'm so sorry. I got a little overexcited. Better? Oh my god. Did you guys see that? He had that really big creepy grin. Holy freaking crap. What are you? What are you, Nick? Holy freak. What a crazy day. I'm glad Nick is alive and doesn't look like he just got beaten up by three huge thugs. I wonder why he thanked me and just left. We're alive? Oh my gosh. He turned out to be shyer than I thought. I don't blame him, after all. He had been bullied for so long. The lectures came to an end. You managed to survive and your body was not yet sick by the end of the day. But right now, the anxiety was almost knocking you off your feet. These streets have always frightened you, but right now, every step you took seemed full of danger, and every rustle make you, makes you jump with fear. Am I that bored with my life? Why did I ever get into this? And now I'm shaking a hundred times more. Maybe I wanted to be intimidated. I should change the lock on my door again. You come to a bend, still a long way to your house. And that part of the road has always scared you. You constantly felt like you could hear someone following you. And right now, there was a rustle of clothes. Maybe it's just your imagination that's running wild because of the adrenaline rush. But you want to get out of here as soon as possible. Maybe I should turn around quietly and try to get out of here. But if I don't hurry, they might attack from behind. If there's anyone there at all, why am I making myself panic? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. How did, why are we not addressing the fact Nick had no face for a minute? Run home as soon as possible. Quietly turn around and go the other way. Run. Screw it. I'm going home. You run as fast as you can so you don't stop for a second near a dark alley. Ugh. I actually can't run that fast. Oh, the bullies! The bullies did find us! Damn, Sparrow is running away! These words echo in your heads, but it wasn't paranoia. You were really being, uh, followed. And they catch up with you. There's a taste of blood in your mouth and your lungs are on fire. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Everything around you no longer had outlines. Only darkness and someone's intarculate curse is somewhere high above your defenseless body on the wet sidewalk. You feel someone roughly flipping you onto your back. There were no blows, but you can already smell blood. Is that your nose bleeding? Is it a head wound? Is it bleeding from your ears? Oh, my necklace. You feel like you can feel splinters digging it on, into your neck. The rotten blood from the necklace has stained you. Wait, wait, wait. So, that necklace, we put our own blood in that necklace? That's what that meant? Oh. And fresh blood has been added to it, oozing out of the small but deep wounds. Oh my god, I can't see a fucking thing. But, it, 
but I can already feel the pain coming on. That really was a bad luck necklace, wasn't it? A wave of hot, throbbing pain slowly ran through your body. It felt like someone had stabbed you. Not deep, but obviously painful. You hear disgusted laughter and felt one of them roughly grab you by your hair. Please, let me go. Please. You whisper so hard, softly that hardly anyone can hear you. There was an upstairs commotion as the bastards were arguing. The tears began to flow. You squeeze your eyes shut. The screams got louder and louder and then suddenly stopped. Uh, that is someone stabbing into a body. Silent was cut by a disgusting sound of a knife rapidly entering someone's body. But you didn't feel any pain. You heard someone fall right in front of you. The smell of fresh blood hit your nose. You know very well how disgusting knives wounds smell. And now it stinks all over the place. But it wasn't just blood. It was death. You remember perfectly well the smell of dead bodies from the morgues. Only after the next sound of the knife sharply severing the flesh, you realize there is only one living person near you. And two corpses. Your breathing hitched. No matter how hard you tried to pretend to, to faint, you failed. The killer of the two thugs did not leave their bodies alone, relentlessly thrusting his blade into the guys who were already definitely dead. They seemed to enjoy it. And honestly, you're not as scared to hear a person ripping their belly open as you are to hear that they, they're stopped. Oh, we're not as scared to hear the sound of the belly being ripped open as we are to hear it stop. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because if it stops, does that mean it's coming for us? In the silence, there was a rustling of clothes next to you, echoing in your head. Someone grabbed your shoulder and started to lift you up. There was no strength, no scream. You begin to feel like you were losing consciousness, but the hope of survival made you perk up. Oh, we gonna die. That's our only choice. We die and we're gonna die. Gather your strength and run away. I don't want to die in an alley in the clutches of a serial killer. The icy hands on your shoulders squeeze you tightly, but clasping your eyes, you hit someone's face upward at random. The man sighed heavily, but let you go. It is Nick. It is Nick, because he didn't yelp or nothing when he got hit. It is Nick. Without waiting a second, you run away from there as fast as you can. All your senses were switched off. You were ruled only by the desire to survive. You ran. You ran. You ran. And ran. And ran. And ran. You quickly jump around some corner because you feel like you're about to faint. You need to catch your breath or you won't be able to escape. You breathe as quietly as you can, but the sound echoes in your head. Drowning out the ringing in your ears. It feels like you're screaming instead of trying to catch your breath. The steps seem to be gone. Perhaps the man maniac who tr chased you ran ahead without noticing that you were hiding. You slowly slid down the wet brick, wiping your face, neck, and collarbones with your sleeve. It was soaked with blood, which was still flowing from the small wounds. Ugh. So far, I don't feel any pain. But in the hospital, it will be painful to pull out those tiny shards of glass. For a while, you sat quietly in your hiding place. Silence. It was frightening and reassuring at the same time. But the fear that right now the maniac realized that they were not chasing anyone else and had already turned around to find you made your heart be beat again with a terrible speed. You slowly walk up without making a noise. Oh, making a sound, and then you walk out onto the unlit road. It was cold in here. Very cold. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it sounded like someone went, and then, like, punched us. So dumb. A hot, throbbing pain pierces your stomach. Yep, he found us. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Such a stupid death, Sparrow. End two. Death in the blind. 
I think there's nine endings, guys. Holy crap. Okay, um... <laughs> Options... Wait, how do I load? Oh, there's no options to load. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Skip. Alright, let's see if we can get at least one more ending for this part. Barrel. Barrel. Okay, we're gonna wear our ne weird necklace again. Um, was there any choices after this? Okay, we are going to quietly turn the other way. Screw it, I'll just carefully take another road. You try to speed up in your step as much as possible while remaining completely silent. Rude voices ran out from the dark alley. A shiver ran through you, thank, thanking heavens for not going in that direction. The new road looked twi looked took bleh, the new road took twice as long, but it was all lit up by the street lamps, and you never saw suspicious people on your way. Ha! Ah, the entrance way, I missed you already. Hey, we made it home. We made it home. I keeping cool. The living room is dirty and smelly, but once you're here, you're more relaxed. You pour yourself a cup of coffee and get some yogurt out of the fridge. It's a combination you don't like very much, but it has been your daily diet for quite some time. Phew. I'll be sure to look for openings tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's going to be a hard day. You fall immediately into the soft mattress and your eyelids are heavy. Today's emotions have squeezed all the strength out of you. You rarely think about tomorrow. It's too hard. There's almost no one in your life. There's no one to hold on to. So do you have any sense or incentive to live? <laughs> Seems like my annoying daily routine and desire to help at least someone has prompted me to do an idiotic thing. But, in general, maybe it wasn't stupid. Maybe he'll fight back thanks to me. Oh yeah, he's, he's gonna fight back. You smile warmly. You like to believe that. You close your eyes and thought about what awaits you tomorrow. But you'll get through it. Life is not all sugar. You have to be able to cope with challenges. Good night, my daily loneliness. Holy crap, hello! Nick, is that you? <laughs> or is that our loneliness? Hello! Good night. Oh, end for target. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, uh, I don't really have more time today to keep going. Uh, I want to. Okay, uh, we're going to be leaving this here. I'll pick up in the next part. Um, really soon. So be looking for it up in a few days. And oh my gosh, just whoo! We got a lot more parts to find. And holy crap, Nick! Nick, what are you? You are not human. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Why do we have a blood necklace? Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh. Please let, leave a like or a comment if you liked how this is. And also the link to the game is going to be down below if you want to play it for yourself and not wait for my next part. And now I will say see you next time. Bye.